Where I work, everybody goes by their last name. Yes, but it makes me feel old. Besides, none of the children are around. There's no need to be so formal. Okay, Carol. <laughs> um, it's just awkward calling you by your first name. You know, we get so caught up in routine and procedure in this place. So, what does it say? You're fine. I, I mean, it, it, everything's normal. Maybe try drinking more water or eating something throughout the day? I've been trying to do that, but the day just gets so busy. I mean, I really am trying to be more conscious of my health, you know? I don't need any bad surprises. All right, thanks for your help. Um, oh, tomorrow, lunchtime. Got another book on Judaism called uh, Unorthodox. I want to pick your brain about some, some interesting stuff in there. Uh, I'll text you right before lunch to remind you. Great. But I won't forget, I actually look forward to our interesting and different conversations. They make my day go by faster. Cool. Alright, um, I'll let you get back to work. I'll go do the same. You know, for a non-religious person, you certainly have a vast interest in religion. I'm, I'm surprised. Uh, I guess I'm quite surprising. Actually, um, interest in people, like in learning, not religion. My brain thirsts knowledge. Mm -hmm. Oh, um, by the way, I checked out some of your work. I uh, heard the staff talking about it in the lounge, your website for your art. Why didn't you tell me about it? They, they said you were really talented, and I got curious. I hope you don't mind. No, I don't mind. <clears throat> I mean, it's for public view. I didn't think there could be anything you'd be interested in. I'm surprised. I guess I'm quite surprising. They were right, by the way. Um, you're very talented. It's good stuff. Thank you. You're very welcome. And thank you. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. What? You know that woman wants you. I'm not the only one who sees it. Come on, stop playing. You know she's just a friend. Mm -hmm. She's pretty cool, too. If you actually have a conversation with her, get to know her, yeah, you might think so, too. Oh, so you're on a first-name basis. <laughs> Interesting. Stop it. See, that's how rumors get started. Mm -hmm. You're gonna be ashamed of yourself. She's a married woman. You're your, your workplace drama fantasies. You're 
here talking like you know. Hey, hold on. Hold on. What is she doing over here right now? From what other people doing as usual? He knows exactly what I'm doing, and it's Carol who should be ashamed of herself. The married Jewish girls are after our men too. Well, you don't have that to worry about. You got your man right here with that you want. Mm -hmm. Come on, man, you can tell me. Is it true? Now nah, you bugging too? I don't know what y'all been seeing. I know I've seen a girl who said that before. Nah, nah, nah. I mean. Right. <laughs> so she got a thing for brothers, huh? Uh, I bet you most of them do. Bruh, she better do something with that. Tap right into that you well, you know what I mean? You know I'm not listening anymore, right? Come on, man. Tap it right in this mazel tov! <laughs> <laughs> So what? You can have as many dreams as you want. I don't know why you're so worried about it. I'm not even worried so much as concerned. It's, it's the third time this week. Okay. So? I, I wasn't even asleep. I, I think I drifted off while I was listening to his pulse and he smells so good and his voice. Wait, what? Hold on. What? I was checking his blood pressure for him. He didn't feel good and he asked me to check his blood pressure and he started talking about whatever and I just I just talked. Fantasized. Carol, you were fantasizing about the man while he was standing right in front of you for how long? Does he think you're crazy? Thanks a lot, Shiro. Okay, it wasn't that long at least. I don't think it was. It's just they get more vivid and more physical each time, and that's what concerns me. Well, you know, honey, maybe this is just your subconscious mind alerting you to things you can and should be doing to rekindle your love for your husband. No? Why don't you do a date night? Date night? I don't know. Maybe. It's just... It's just... Day by day with me, you know, once the trust is broken, it's really hard to get back. I don't know. But tell me, Kel, you're not, you're not going to try anything with this fantasy guy, are you? Come on, lady, move it! Carol! No. No, don't be ridiculous. Okay, good. And you know, I don't want you to think I'm saying this because he's black, okay? I'm saying this because you're married and he's not even Jewish. <laughs> oh, okay, Shira. Um, I'm driving home. I'll call you when I get home. Hey, listen, uh, why don't you come over this weekend and have lunch with Paul and I? It could be fun, right? I'll talk to you later. Okay, I'll call you when I get home. Bye. What? I got a 90 on that test. I thought I was totally gonna bomb. Oh, well, that's because you studied like you were supposed to. Congratulations, you have a reason to be proud. I'm so proud of you. Yeah, but I still hate studying. Well, how do you expect to become a paleontologist if you don't study? I'm not sure if I want to be a paleontologist. I'm gonna be a rabbi. Well, either way, you're going to have to study maybe even twice as hard. Maybe I'd be a lawyer like Dad and work up to a judge like Grandpa. 
Dad can help me like Grandpa helped him. I'll tell him at dinner. You can be and do whatever it is you want to be, all right? But don't be like Dad or Grandpa. Be the best. Mom, your psoriasis is clearing up. You look good. <laughs> My sweet boy. Maybe you can be a pretty dancing ballerina. Maybe I could dance all over your face. Mm. Mm. I'll be in my room. I have homework to finish. Working on my future. Is that what you do in there with the door locked? <laughs> all right, you two, knock it off. Go on. Pass me my baby. You do know he goes up to his room pretending he has so much homework to do just to get out of doing chores. Then I have to do them. And I suppose you've never found a way to get out of chores or get your brother to do them for you? I just love the way the two of you get along and work together. Where's your father? You know where. In his favorite place. He's been acting weird lately. Mom, are you and Dad getting a divorce? Honey, why would you say that? You know why, Mom? You guys are always angry with each other. You're always fighting. You both said it would stop, but it hasn't. Hey, sometimes marriages go through really hard times. It doesn't mean we're getting a divorce, all right? We'll talk about this later. Here, take your sister. I'm gonna go start dinner. We spoke with men and women all across the country who weighed in on this hot issue. I think men cheat because, uh, because I can. Why do men cheat? Because they're probably not happy with the relationship they're in. I think it's in men's DNA to have more sexual activity. They're lonely, they're, they're pigs, no, scratch. <laughs> No. Thanks for picking up Rand from daycare. I only wish that maybe for once you'd get dinner started when I'm on my way home. It'd be a nice surprise. She may need a diaper change right about now. Why would I do that? Oh, for you to tell me what I didn't do a great job at? For you to go over and redo what I already did and complain about it the whole way through? I would I do that to myself? So what did you do during the day? Carol, please don't start with me today. Are you trying to start an argument? Is that what you want? I don't know why you're being so grumpy. I just asked what you did during the day. I know what you asked, and I know the intention behind it, okay? You think I was sitting here all day being lazy. These are applications I've been filling out. These are one ends. Contrary to what you may believe, I have been trying. I've been making calls and following leads for weeks. Yes. I picked up a couple of short jobs with some friends here and there, so I'm doing the best that I can. Okay? Are you happy now? Happy? No, Simon, I can't say that I am. Look, you know that makes two of us. I'm just about sick of this, and I'm sick of you! You're selfish and I hate you! What's best for her? I hate you for your actions. You make excuses for yourself that I'm just supposed to accept as okay, but everything I do is just plain out wrong! You put on weight, and that's my fault? You think this is more of an arrangement than a marriage, and that's my fault? Why don't you just get it over with? and save it already. You hate me too. 
I don't hate you, Simon. But the truth is that I'm finding it very hard to love you. You have no right to take that tone with me. I did not cause any of this. This is what you did to yourself. You're the one who lost your spoon fed and handed to your job at the DA's office. And for what, Simon? For calling the hookers at your desk? You, Simon, not me, you. So you finally said it. You think I did it? Of course I do. Not to mention the several sexual harassment claims made against you in the past. Oh, you're your father's son, all right, following right in his footsteps. You need help. You need therapy, and I need to stop making excuses for you. I called them! I'm guilty of th that only! And I suppose I'm to blame for wanting to feel like a man and using completely insignificant women over the phone to fulfill that need. Although, I had a wife at home who forgot how to be a wife or just didn't want to. Never put any farther than that. You're gonna believe what you want. But you can't lose what you no longer have. Like I don't know what to believe anymore, Simon. I believe you would be more of a go-getter and provide for your family when times got tough, but I believe that I'm the one doing that alone. So you're throwing that in my face. I told you I could borrow money from my mother until I got back on my feet, but you just want to do that! No! Remember? No! And now you're throwing it in my face that I'm not providing? I don't want your mother's money. All right, Simon, I want you to stand on your own two feet. Your father is dead and gone, but when are you going to stop being Johnny's boy? You ran to him for your career, and you ran to your mom for her hand. That was how you had to have her by your side, holding your hand when you told me what you did, like a coward! I've had enough of this. Something needs to change. say, hey, you know what? I don't want you to abuse the citizens, and I also don't want you to get killed. I want you to be perfectly healthy, and I want you to do your job, which is to protect the community, instead of beating down the community, stopping and frisking them in New York at overwhelming numbers, at, at attacking minorities, and not white people. Brooklyn streets are once again a playground for trigger-happy thugs. And gentrifiers surely do not like people barbecuing on their front lawns. So they like to barbecue in their backyards. Right. So there are all these cultural changes that gentrifiers bring, which are really derogatory toward and disrespectful toward longtime residents. Okay, with just a few minutes alienated. left here. I
club tonight and I sat beside you in the booth. I heard that you would turn a lovely 22. That makes so much sense. I thought the thing to do would be he to does buy do that. you a slice of pie. And then How I much longer are you going to take in there? I'm getting handsome for you. you. Yeah, I could be yours and you could be mine. You could be mine. Why do I keep on agreeing to this? I wrestle with the problem of hindsight. It's 2020 at best. I just keep on telling myself not to regret. Just one more time, I wanna take it all back. Give it another shot, another try, just a one more cry. I dream the day I've got you back. Life is long, and I don't wanna be a stranger in your world. I just want to be your angel girl Just don't tell me you've got plans inside Cause I want to be your angel tonight You know, the longer you've already been with me The longer it's going to take for me to take advantage of how handsome you look I'm coming right now! Just one more contemplation before I take my rest. I wanna sing this Travis, song to you, girl. It's just one chapter. It's not done Sorry, yet. Right I've got this harmony and this melody, but the words are coming slow. And it's four o'clock now, and it's time for you to go. Well, I beg of you, stay one moment. So glad you can join me. <laughs> Come on, let's get this over with. <laughs> I mean, it's, you know, let's do this. Okay, all right. So, it says here that in a relationship... <sighs> all right, I'll start. Serious. Okay. It says here in a relationship, you should make sure that you tell each other how much you appreciate each other. I, I appreciate you. Good. I appreciate you too. Boom. See? This ain't so bad. I, I enjoy reading these self-help books with you. I do. Good. Because you know how much literature turns me on. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. And I got some time. I could read like two, three more chapters. <laughs> oh, really? I want to sing this song to you, girl, but it's not done yet. Got this harmony and this melody, but the words are coming slow. It's four o'clock now, and it's time for you to go. Relationship building. I'm not ashamed about it. Some reading, some work activities. Her idea, not mine. <laughs> I sabotage a lot of my past relationships. I'm not exactly the commitment type. Especially thinks we need as much help as we can get to make this one work. So you weren't like 
one of many bald-headed Jewish women <laughs> lined up beside the wig shop in Williamsburg? <laughs> no, I assure you, I'm not bald <laughs> under here. Actually, you know, most of us aren't. That's just the ultra-Orthodox Jewish women. Honestly, I don't, I don't know why they do it. I actually happen to have a nice full head of hair under here. <laughs> oh, really? So do you like, you know, role play with those wigs at home? <laughs> you know, I put them in some good juice. Yes, while we're having sex with a sheet with a hole in it between us. Hey, you said it, not me. <laughs> but you heard that one. That's why I'm laughing too. It's just such a ridiculous stereotype. Like, I don't know, like all black men having big penises. <laughs> Well, I mean, <laughs> that may just be the only factual one. So then it's not true that black men who like white women only view them as trophies and more controllable than black women? Thanks. You've been doing watching Oprah? <laughs> no, um, seriously though, uh, I'm just trying to figure out my own life. Like, do you think it's crazy for someone like me to just rebel? Life as a black man in this society is all about rebellion, so what do you feel the need to rebel against? I mean, rebel in the sense that I wonder what it's like to not be religious, you know, to wear pants and not have to cover my hair, and I don't know. My religion just makes you do things blindly and without choice, and I just want to have a choice. It's some serious stuff to be thinking about. Especially at this time in your life. How does that quote go? We're not... We're not subject to mazel. We're not limited to our destinies. Rather, our own actions determine our fate. Believe it or not, it's more common than you think that women like me feel that way. Well, the men too, but but acting on it is different entirely. That's to go off the direct, the set path or way, and I just want to go my own way. Yeah. Yeah. Now you sure you want to do this, right? If you want to do this, you just do it before you have time to think about it and like back off, you know? The baby's getting picked up from daycare, the kids are fine. Everything is set. I'm doing this. Hi. I'll lead the way. I'm leaving high rises, I'm ready for surprises. I'm wearing no disguises, I'm on my own. Well, I got temptations and no limitations. No weight of expectations hold me back home. Take all three. There you go. I hope you enjoy and thank you for shopping fantasy. Thank you. I feel so empowered and invigorated and <laughs> kind of nervous at the same time like a little girl. Hey, you're living. Have a good day.
sure you want to do this now. Wait, have you ever had alcohol in your system before? I mean, there's no telling how crazy you might get. Yes, I've had alcohol, mostly white wines. I'm not really a fan of the others, but no matter how crazy I get, you're here to help me. I don't know about that. That's not bad. That's nice. It's sweet. It's fruity. Don't let the fruitiness fool you. It sneaks up on you. Take it easy. Then taking it easy. <laughs> All right, so I know not what you used to, but what do you think? The food was incredible. You're not just trying to make me feel good, are you? <laughs> I'm not. Oh, um, let me, I think it's just my kids. Hi. Mom, where are you? Are you okay? I'm okay, I'm just out getting a coffee. Well, I told you I wouldn't be straight home from work today. Yeah, well, John is being annoying. I am not. All right, I'll be home shortly, okay? Okay, hurry back. See you soon. Love you, bye. Suck up, shut up. I'm sorry. Sounds like mommy might be needed at home. Mm, no, I'm gonna make them miss me just a little bit longer. <laughs> Besides, I need to walk off some of this food before I start to show evidence. Look at me, I got a food baby. You know, I was watching you back at the restaurant Laughing and smiling and having a good time reminds me of us married 35 years. Uh. God bless you both. You have to excuse my wife. She doesn't know her boundaries. Oh, I know my boundaries. I just think it's better to cross them sometimes. <laughs> I'm going to have to take her with me now. <laughs> good night. I think they thought that we were a couple. Well, that is a relief because people usually think I'm the daughter when I'm out with my husband. Okay. Um, so, um, how do you feel? You want to go home? No, 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 no. Let's stay out a little bit longer. Okay. Bye. Right. <laughs> follow me. Thank you so much for tonight. And words can't describe how much this meant to me, how much I needed this for me. It's my pleasure. I was happy to see you enjoying yourself and actually having a good time. So what do I do now that I've taken a walk on the wild side? <laughs> Maybe just take it easy for a while. I mean, wearing jeans and drinking in the same night. You don't want to go total heathen all in one instance. Well, if I do what I really desire to do, my family would disown me. <laughs> I'd be dead to them, I mean, to my parents at least. You know, it's really for the sake of my children that I can't go to the extreme. This life that we've raised them to live is the only life they know and I'd hate to cause them confusion or get them to question the life that we've led them to live, this belief system that we've raised them to have. I'm not a parent. 
but I know that must be tough. No am I married, but hey, in my relationship, there are surely times when I've questioned. How do you get past all the questions? Accepting, uh, trying to love and letting God, definitely living in the now. Living in the now. I like that one. Guy, Travis. I just wish the now could last all night. I'm sorry. Is that okay? I was just curious. It's okay. So much better without it. <laughs> How do you feel? Um, this is awkward. I... I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. I am so sorry. No? It's totally okay. You don't have to apologize. I get it. I have to go. I have to go to my children. Uh, what time is it? It's Carol. probably getting late. I should go. Uh, Carol, Carol. It's okay. Don't you don't have to be upset with yourself. Like I'm not judging you. I shouldn't be, be here. This is wrong. I shouldn't put you in this position at all. Wait, wait, wait. You don't gotta run away. Like we could talk about this. It's literally just a misunderstanding. I used you. Travis, okay, I used you as part of this fantasy, this dream that I wanted to make a reality, but I knew that it wouldn't last for long, okay? It was selfish, and it was intentional. It's okay. You, what do you mean you used me? I don't feel used. You're blowing this way out of proportion. It's okay. Look, you're a good guy, Travis, okay? You're, you're a nice, sweet man, and I have screwed up moral compass. And I need to figure this out, okay? Thank <laughs> you.